The last I heard, we were going to step out and explore a bit more. Or first, we were going to see if we could open up the exit. And if we couldn't, then we were going to explore. Yep. Yeah. I just worry that if we use our last question, it'll like deactivate and then it won't matter if we bring the, uh, the uh, item in. Can I make a, an arcana check? Because yeah. I'm about to say something. Sure. Alrighty. What are, we, what are you checking for? Would I know that things usually reset like uh, after a rest? Great question. So um, you do know how um, magical things work. Um, you do know that the portal probably will reset pretty soon. Um, and you also know from the description, and, and I had made a comment in the first encounter with the ghost, um, but I, I guess probably nobody really picked up on it. But with your arcana, we'll kind of tell you. He said that the lanterns seem to reset after a day. Ah, uh, I totally missed that. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, so he, uh, you do know that things reset, and you know that he did say the lanterns seem to reset after a day because he's been dead for who knows how long. So he's been in there. Okay. Well, Relani, I think we'll be okay if if we if we go out if it resets. We might have to wait for a while. Yeah, because you don't know how long a day is because he was inside. Right. So yeah. That's true, because we walked through the portal and it kind of felt like time stopped. Right. Well, I'm okay with leaving. Yeah, I'm alright with leaving. Maybe check the room before we pop the doors, just so we don't get pincered or like, don't have anything come behind us. I'll walk out. Alrighty. Um, Hash, or Hash Nag. <laughs> Harsh Nag follows you. You guys all kind of have that sensation again that you feel where it feels like time stops for a second. Uh, William's toting Melton. <laughs> I picture Melton kicking and screaming. Alrighty. And your owl comes too, I assume. Yep. Owl comes right. too. Gotcha. Um, Harsh Nag says... Um, I um, <clears throat> I, I've traveled quite a bit. I may be able to draw you a map for some of these places if you're going to be going to get these burial mounds and stuff. That would be great. He uh, reaches in his bag and he pulls out um, to what you guys looks like a large rug, about uh, 15 feet long and about uh, five feet wide. And he kind of unrolls it and lays it down. And um, he takes out... Uh, uh, kind of a large um, writing utensil, chalk it looks like, or, or coal. And he starts writing and drawing sort of a, an outlying picture. And uh, he just sort of sits down and starts working on it. And uh, you see the detail he's putting into it, you're like, this is probably going to take a while. Well, Stick, did you want to, or Melton, was it, do you want to pull, try to pull these levers, or were we going to go through the doors? I was say try pull the low levers first. Yeah, we might as well try those. Can't get any worse, right? Why do you say stuff like that? <laughs> oh, because <laughs> he's a DM. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The portcullises are down still, right? They are right. still down, yep. And the levers are down in those rooms. So William, he'll call Harshnag over and say, "Can you help me try these let this lever again?" Harshnag gets up. He says, uh, "Sure," and he leaves his rug and uh, his chalk or his coal, and he kind of comes into the room and says, "Give it a pull, little guy. I've seen your strength." Uh, there we go. You see, William kind of pushes it up, and immediately you hear the sound of grinding metal on stone. <laughs> and Melton, you see that the portcullis uh, here now rises up to the ceiling. Yep. Uh, Milton tells him that did it. I'm going to go back this way. All right, Barry. The stones are still in place in the hallway. But 
uh, William grabs Melton back up <laughs> and drags him along. <laughs> it sounds good. To this room. Alrighty. And he calls for Harshnag. Alrighty. Harshnag comes. William's going to ask him to help him again. So it, I guess it's in the what down position. So he's going to try it to put is. it in the up position. Yep. I'll roll with advantage. Um, so William has a much harder time kind of pushing this lever up, but as he does, um, you guys see that the stone slowly rises as he continues to kind of lift up this this uh, lever, and when he gets it into the up position, which takes him about three minutes to do that, um, the stone is now up in the ceiling, but you see a second stone now sitting um, behind it. William calls for Harshnag to help him across. Harshnag says, sure, you want me to throw you? Yep. <laughs> he ups down and picks you up and <laughs> carries you over to the other side. We have still got Melton. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Now they'll try this room. All righty. If they can do the lever again. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, so he tries and tries. He pushes, and he's unable to get that to go up. Uh, anybody got any ideas? Like well, guidance, Not like dude. I can help you. <laughs> like guidance. That's, that's fair. I, I can do guidance, or I can try to turn into something that might be able to help. Well, let's but try guidance way. right now. It's kind of free. <laughs> All right. Our snake who, who reaches who down and puts your hands up. Yeah, put it on William since Harshnag is going to help him. He'll try again with some guidance. I, I, I'm sure that Relenia is telling him how to, you know, grab it from here and the, the fulcrum point and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And That's put okay. him to try again with so. Harshnag helping him. Uh, yeah, that time he does. Holy smokes. So, yeah, he's able to push that up, and this time it only takes him about, uh, oh, maybe a minute or so, and that rock, uh, this time, Barry, you see, goes up much more quickly. Um, and as that goes up, you do see the sunlight kind of beams in through and um, through the opening, and you guys remember when you came up, it was kind of cloudy and uh, kind of snowy, but now it looks like that's passed, and there's you can see what looks like blue skies and, and whatnot. Um, there is a, a what looks like a... a pretty good layer of snow that's on the ground outside but uh, but yep William goes get the little donkey cart and brings it in all right so as William goes outside um, and uh, gets the donkey cart far off in the distance he sees what looks like a red dot uh, quite a ways off probably 15 20 miles or so a small red dot catches his attention immediately Get down, it's a laser sight. <laughs> There's giant cats. It's the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> All great answers. Hey guys, it looks like the portal reset too, by the way. Yep, uh, you guys see that the portal now is covered in mist. Um, as an hour has passed. William quickly brings the card in. Yep. He hollers that harsh nag to, to pull the lever down. Okay. Good job. I was going to suggest that too. Harsh nag goes, oh, my hammy. <clears throat> All right. We will go up and help. <laughs> Maybe Relinia oh, give you some guy. <laughs> All right, uh, so you guys are able to, to pull that and, and the, the stone comes back down. Are you putting down two stones or one? I just figured one would be enough. Okay, sounds good. He, he tells everybody there's a red dot in the sky, and it's not the sun. <laughs> was it in the sky or, or on, like, the horizon? I thought he said, you said it was in the sky, didn't you? Yeah, it was kind of near the horizon, though. Yep, that's right. Kind of like, uh, not like out in space looking down type of thing, more like, yeah, on the horizon kind of th but, Yeah, But not on the ground. But not on the ground. Definitely not on the ground. Definitely was up in the air towards the south uh it was actually towards the west wonder if that's a red was it like a red dragon 
Uh, it didn't look like the shape of a red dragon. It was a red circle. I wonder if that's another cloud giant castle or something like that. Maybe he's had too many uh, cookies. <laughs> Maybe it's Blagathus. He knows he we've disturbed his son. So you come back in, you see that uh, the room is uh, kind of like it was when you first walked in. However, this time you see that the obviously the great axe is in the frost giant's hands. Hey, Harshnag, if you want to finish your map while we do whatever we need to do. Okay. Probably a good idea. Comes back over and he sits down on the ground cross-legged. Oh, we were going to go back through the portal. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Right, weren't we? We were taking the circlet back in there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Could you, Harshnag, please? Yeah. What do you need? Take the, the same weapon and touch it to the rune so we can go back through. Uh, sure. He pulls out the, uh, the great axe and... He uh, kind of walks over and reaches down and puts it against the ice ruin, and nothing happens. Um, oh no! I. That's what I did before. Kinda, he says maybe, maybe touch one of the different ruins or a different weapon. Or do we have to touch all the ruin runes in order? And then he touched it to the. Then he touched the weapon to the symbol. I can try that. So he takes his hand and he touches them all in the same ritual order and then picks up the great axe and kind of touches the great axe to the symbol. Nothing happens. Was that the same weapon you had beforehand? Yeah, I think it was the, the great axe, wasn't it? The one from the frost uh, yeah. giant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Theorem. Yep. Yeah, this was the one. Maybe uh, we have to wait till tomorrow to do it. It could be. Maybe the portal just reset, but we have to wait even longer for the entire thing. Or do maybe, is there a chance maybe both of the blocks have to be down? We did put the wall up when the first block went up. The first one of the two. Maybe we put the other block down. That sounds good. All right. So um, William will go down there, I assume, and do that. Um, yeah, we going to try it. Yep, second block goes down. Um, and, uh, yeah. Try do the same thing again yep. to open a portal. So he touches all the ruins. He puts the weapon against the portal, and the portal opens. Ah. You see that five of the six lanterns are out. There's one lantern remaining. Goes on in. Archnake says, mm, I'll work on the map. I don't like going in there. It feels weird. So do I get my question? I don't know what the next question is. Well, William grabs up a mouth. <laughs> yeah, I bet he does. <laughs> <laughs> But I think we wanted to put this um, this ring in the circle and see what happens. Offer it to the to the oracle. Okay, let's do that. Uh, William puts Melton down. He hands him to Verlinia and drags the ring in the middle. All right, sounds good. So William takes the ring into the middle. Uh, William, as you do, um, the ring you, he sets it down gently, um, and you stand there, and nothing is said. Should we say something? Tell the oracle that we brought brought it. Um, tell it that we brought it, the relic. 
As tribute. Yeah. It says, do this and your path will be made clear. There are many paths you can take. The more relics you can deliver, the more paths. Do we have any other relics? Just this one, right? Just the one. Uh, did they say our, like, my weapon and your staff and Barry's thing was a relic? No, those are artifacts, right? Yep. Yeah, they're artifacts. Or are they artifacts or relics? Or are they one in this thing? Uh, I think they're artifacts, uh, right? Felgalos yeah. said that. Please, go ahead, Relenny. Uh, Felgalos said that. said there are three of five artic artifacts thought to be buried and hidden, thrown away by the gods. They're both for good and evil, and we were supposed to look up information on Miracle. Right, and then I think uh, Barry had found out that hers was from Timora, I believe, right? And Stig knows his is from Helm. Not sure we've looked up the rest of them yet. But. Were there any like magic words we were supposed to say? Uh, Do you remember Relania? Uh, no, he didn't say anything about the Oracle. Didn't just the ask your questions and know the truth. That like triggered it, right? It did trigger the event, yes. Yeah, it just said deliver the lost relics and bring them here as tribute. Do this and your path... <clears throat> Excuse me. Do this and your path will be made clear. So, we wheel the... Uh, I'll have uh, William wheel the the uh, artifact into the middle of the, the circle. Yep. And then, uh, oh, 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 Oracle, um, we have a relic for you. Once lost, but now it's found. Guide us. As I'm kind of like looking up in the air like I'm, yeah. you know. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, so as that happens, um, you hear a voice. I see no relics yet. This is not a relic. You're not a relic. Not, not the wagon. The, the ring. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it says, "There are no relics here. I see no relics." I... You broke up, Irish. I walk out of the circle and, and speak to Barry. Didn't we find this in the middle of Tribor? Was it was it surrounded by an altar or anything, or was it just in the middle of a field? I think it was just in the middle of the field. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it was in, yeah, literally like in the middle of the town. And I, uh, Maybe the relics are like those stones that had the runes on them or something. All right, well, that got us nowhere. You see, yeah, William has was... a big smile on his face. He's like, I get to keep the ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the rock with the ruins was in Nightstone. It was. No. Was there, I don't remember, was there one in Greenfields also? Goldenfields? Uh -huh. Or Goldenfields? I don't think so. Not that we, we yeah, knew. That you saw or didn't think, yeah. Well, then we can... So we can go with one of our original questions on... Where... <clears throat> where is... Uh, Blagathkiss? Or we can ask... Where is... Um, Zalto? Or we can ask um, about the actual relics, ask if they're 
those stones with the runes on them. Yeah, ask where we can find the um, the runes. Yeah, or the next one. One that hasn't been taken yet. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that works. They're going to be Which tough one? to get in Last here. one. Yeah. Okay, so we're asking where the next uh, stone with runes is located that hasn't been taken by the giants? Well, why not ask where, you know, where some of the relics are? Like the closest one, so that we can go, like, directly to it, get one. Ask where the mound is. Our snake uh, comes through and he says, I'm done with my map. And he uh, reaches over and uh, lays it down on the ground. And as he does, you see that he has written out in various places uh, in giant, but obviously your colleagues can spell that out, places and locations and what. And he says, each one of these is uh, an earth god burial mound, at least the ones I've found. And he kind of points, he's like, Baruna well, one stone, Great Worm Cavern, Raven Rock, Orgarth Mound, Flint Rock, Grandfather Tree, which obviously you know, Relenia. Um Yeah, I kind of peek up when I hear that. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Stone Stand. Um, yeah, there. These are all the uh, Uthgar's burial rounds, uh, mounds. <clears throat> I think that's but where what, are we at? Uh, right here. You are here. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Exactly. And uh, he says, uh, the oracle said that the um, uh, that the, they buried the artifacts or the relics in the uh, or the relics in their mounds or burial mounds. So these are your, probably where you need to go. Okay, so I guess we don't need to ask that question. Yeah, we can cross that one off. Oh, and we're up at the top where it says you are here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, along the spine okay. of the world there. <clears throat> Holy mackerel, we traveled... How did we get up that far? You guys traveled a long time. That's why you got downtime. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, they, they traveled a... What was it? A few weeks you guys traveled, wasn't it? Yeah, about two or three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys traveled a lot. We didn't even go to my bar. We... Some little town right there by the woods. Yep. Yeah. Keep right. So do we ask about Blagathkus, or do we ask about where is Lord Zalto? Blagathus is—he's a cloud giant, so he's probably floating around in his castle. It'd be a tough one unless we were going straight to him. I think. Then ask about. Lord Zalto. Zalto. Okay. When, when we asked about Lord Zalto, it gave us this the last time. That's correct. So he'll just repeat the same thing now that I think about it. Mm. What do you suggest then? Mm, I don't know. Which mound is rated for a level six <laughs> part? Which mound will get us to level seven? <laughs> Love it. Well, uh, do we ask about some other quest then? Sure, I'm, I'm up for any question. I just didn't want us to get the same answer back on that one. No, that makes sense. Well, so then our questions are, we ask the location of Blagathkus, or something about Blagathkus, um, or do we ask about something that happened in Yartar with uh, Lord Dryland, or uh, something like that. I say we just ask where Blagathkus currently is, 
or how we can gain access to him. Crickets. <laughs> hey, I asked the one about the adamantine items. I, I think you're going to get the same answer, but I don't care. Um, it's going to reset, so if we do, no big deal. Are you going to ask? Never mind. Blagathus is good. Well, what did I ask? I, I don't even remember what I asked when he gave us that long winded answer. You ask, uh,. I believe uh, what they were going to do with the adamantine. Oh no, that wasn't it. Where to find the Lord Zalto? I think was what it was. Yeah, I just think you'll probably. Do oh, that. oh, I already, I already asked that. that. Okay. You ask where? Yeah. 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 All right. Sorry. That's, sorry. that's why I think we'll get the same answer. I, I don't think well, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, okay. Well, it's up to you guys. I'm kind of. At a loss right now. You could go with the pot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Does William have any questions he wants to ask? He wants to know about uh, how he can make uh, his armor. Actually, you could ask about one of the artifacts or relics that we carry. Uh, if you, if any one of us three who have one, if you want any more information about it. Yeah, that's a great point. I got a pretty good idea on mine, so if somebody else wants to ask on theirs, I'm cool with it. I think I've got a good idea on mine. Mine, I don't. I know I can, it allows me to change into stuff, but... It's done some other weird things, but I don't really know the purpose. It's a good time to figure it out, I guess. All right, so do you want me to do that then? Just ask about the staff? Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. So I will um, step into the, the circle again. Okay. Oh, great. Oracle, we... We stumbled upon some stone giants trying to obtain this staff. It is called the Scales of Balance. Please tell me of its power and its function. The Oracle um, voice, the, the last lantern goes out, by the way, and uh, his voice, um, you hear it, and he says, The stone giants were only trying to restore Osteria. They were not looking for the Scales of Balance. Sylvanus is who you need to ask about the scales of balance. However, the five artifacts will soon be complete. And the voice goes away. Alright, what was that name again? Navanus or Lovanus? Uh, Sylvanus. Oh, Sylvanus. Okay. Yeah, Sylvanus, yep. And that's uh, your god of, I think that's your deity, right? God of nature? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yep, just so you know. Archstein goes. That wasn't very helpful with all our questions, was it? I guess it was a little no, bit. It he wasn't. Got a map. Got to know where to go, I guess. That's true kind of walks over and picks up the body of the uh, um, of the fallen giant there and um, as he does starts to pick it up and, and um, grabs the morning star and he carries it through and says I'm gonna <clears throat> put him where he belongs rightfully bury him he walks through the gate um, and as he does the body returns to the center of the room he kind of looks at you guys as he walks through and the body's disappeared and back where it was before You can't bring it out of the room? He comes back in. He's like, why did it put it back there? I wonder. I wonder if he needs, like, his vengeance before he can be
be laying to rest. Uh, that may be. That may be. And just to, to kind of sidetrack your rewind you, yeah. the stone giants at the druid altar were trying to restore what? Osteria. Um, and um, Harshnag can give you a little bit of information. That is what the world uh, was called by the giants prior to humanoids and other creatures uh, populating. So there was a large empire uh, pretty much throughout uh, Beirun um, of the giants and the, the dragons had their side and the uh, Harshnag and, and the giants had their, uh, theirs and it was their, their kingdom. They're kind of like the, the Roman Empire if you want to think of it that way. And then the humanoids came in and, and took over the area and the giants were kind of displaced. Well, I don't understand if the giants weren't looking for the staff, then what what were they doing that would have helped restore that? Right. If I remember correctly, I believe they were kind of desecrating a druid ruin, I think, right? I think they were tearing it apart? Yes. So I wonder, I wonder if that goes along with the barbar or the uh, the giants destroying all of the barbarian altars to Uthgar. I mean, are they actually doing it to destroy the altars, and then it just happens that some of them have these adamantine items or something like that, or? I don't know. Okay, let's keep exploring. Alrighty. Cool. Where would you guys like to go next? I wonder if we were here long enough that we could take a quick short rest. I mean. Sure. Or you assume like to take it. A short, short rest it. I guess in that room we could have done it. In the room with the lanterns? Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. Anything change um, when the lantern went out? Yeah, um, didn't that door lock on us though? What door? This. Oh, after an hour. Yeah, how long's a short rest? Well, I guess we want to go out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to end up like this. Uh, this this dude frozen to the floor. All right, fair enough. So you all come out. I was just wondering. I'm like, how am I gonna get him out of there? I don't know. How I'm gonna get him yeah. out. <laughs> hey, uh, maybe we. Maybe we go rest. Good campaign. Over by Good that. campaign. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we go rest over by that fire. Oh, to the oh, south. The dining hall. Yeah. And we've propped those doors open. Yeah, they uh, they stay open actually. Yep. So um, there's if you want to keep them open, they'll stay open. Otherwise, if you close them, you can close them. So mm. now that they're thawed, you can or thawed, you can now uh, open and shut them. All right. Uh, so short rest. Sounds good. I think up. so. All right. Uh, you guys are all able to uh, take a nice short rest there for a while, uh, sitting down, looking at things. Arshnag um, kind of, again, as you're, as you're resting, kind of talks about <clears throat> stories of, um, of giants and whatnot and things of the past and, um, you know, talks about seeing many stone giants sort of destroying uh, lots of artifacts that have been um, spread out along the world that humanoids have created. Um, and he also talks about, um, you know, coming across some fire giants that have been searching for, uh, you know, having these weird rods. He never knew what they were for until you guys had told him about the adamantine. And um, So he also um, 
just kind of had some brief discussions about, um, you know, Chief Gu and, and you guys uh, clearing out Grudhog and everything and, um, you know, kind of asking questions and kind of curious, like, who's going to take over for uh, Chief Gu now? Like, who's going to be the leader of the Hill Giants? That seems kind of perplexing to him. Oh, um, speaking of that, does, um, since you know about Chief Gu, do you know anything about Duke Golto? 